In this tutorial, I want to quickly go through what is called a Shapiro-Wilk test, which allows us to check whether a sample comes from a population that actually is normally distributed. What does that mean? So let's assume we've got here our observations, a concentration, for example, of a biomarker, milligram per cubic dec uh, decimeter or liter, and these are our observations. So this here really is our, our sample. So that's the sample, which we have taken from a population. Let's call this population, population, popul. And very often we'll find that we want to use some statistical tests that require the population to be normal distributed so the population would be a norm would have a normal distribution around a mean and a population standard deviation and that is something that of course we don't know from our population because we only have the sample but we can employ this shapiro wilk test which basically checks whether the population from which we have taken this sample, whether the distribution of this population is equal to a normal distribution with the parameters mu and sigma, the population parameters uh, for the mean and the standard deviation. And the important thing is the question, is this population from which we have taken the sample, is it normally distributed? And normal distribution, just as a reminder, is this particular bell-shaped curve uh, with a very complicated looking equation. Now, carrying out this Shapiro-Wilk test in uh, Excel is a little bit difficult. Um, in Excel, so therefore we can uh, use an online calculator, but before we do that, what we do is we formulate our null hypothesis, and this actually would be our null hypothesis. The population from which we have taken the sample is normally distributed. The alternative hypothesis would be the population from which we have taken the sample is not a normal distribution with the parameters mu and sigma. And of course, we don't know at this point uh, mu and sigma, uh, but the important thing is, is it normally distributed or not? And like in any good uh, hypothesis testing, we would set a significance level, we would set our alpha, this is the significance level, and uh, very often we will set this to 5%. Uh, so that would be our type 1 error. So, as I said, it's a little bit cumbersome to do that in Excel, but uh, luckily there are some good online calculators uh, for that, and the link for such an online calculator I leave in the description of this uh, video. So we head over to this shapiro wilk test online calculator, and um, we input our data, our observations, just simply like that. We then uh, click on the calculate the Shapiro-Wilk statistics and we get all the necessary information. So here we've got the results and the important part here is the Shapiro-Wilk test statistic p-value and here we've got a p-value of 0.295 something, so we can just simply round it to 0 0.3, I guess. So that is our p-value. So the p-value for this test, p equals 0 0.3, roughly, and we see that 0 0.3, the p-value, is larger than our alpha, which is 5% or 0 0.05, 0 0.05. So the p-value is larger than alpha 
And therefore, uh, like any good uh, statistical test, what we can say, therefore, if the p-value is larger than alpha, we will fail to reject, fail to reject our null hypothesis. Remember, if p is high, the h naught can stay. And therefore, we will sort of, we will accept that the null hypothesis is most likely correct. So we will conclude that this data that we've collected here, this sample, actually comes from a population that is normal distributed around sigma and mu. And therefore, we can work with, work on the assumption that, work on the assumption that the sample comes from a population, from normal distributed population. distributed population. This means we can do tests that are based on the normal distribution. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.